Hey guys, it's Natalie, and today we are starting a new series called Did You Know Friday? And today we are going to be talking about farms, young living farms, that is. But before we do that, I want to take a minute and um, announce our three winners from our 100 subscriber giveaway. Yay! Um, I want to thank everybody who entered and who commented and who have subscribed and keep watching. I really appreciate it, and I'm just so excited to, to learn and share information with everybody. So let's take a minute, find out who our winners are and we'll get back to farm. Alright guys, sorry to interrupt the farm talk, but here's the name of the three winners. Each of you get a Young Living lip balm and the names are C. Gilmore 4, Amy Mousy, M-A-U-Z-Y, I hope I didn't mess that up too bad, and Cozy Cabin 5. Yay! All you need to do to claim your prize is send me an email with your mailing address and I will send your lip balm out to you. If I don't hear from you by, let's say, Saturday 11 p.m., I will go ahead and pick somebody at random from the original uh, comment list from the giveaway. So thanks everybody again, and let's talk farm. All right, so did you know that Young Living has 11 farms around the world, and several of those you can go and visit, and you can actually work at a couple of them, and not just visit them, which I think is awesome. Uh, so the one in Mona, Utah, I actually went to go see, and that was an absolutely amazing um, experience for me. I went to conference last year, and we took the tour uh, to the farm day and just seeing the lavender farm and the lavender fields and being able to sit in the lavender and smell the lavender it was just an amazing experience and you also get to see the distillery process and the bottling process and it was also cool because we also got to see jousting which I thought was pretty amazing. What company owner do you know that has his own jousting ring and actually does jousting? So that was pretty cool. So if you ever get a chance, make sure you visit um, the farm in Utah. We also have a farm in Idaho. There's two farms in Idaho, really. Um, the first one is the St. Marie's Idaho Farm, and that is actually open for distillery tours. And then there is, I always say this wrong, the Highland Flats Tree Farm in Idaho and that is over 250 acres and it actually hosts the um, winter harvest where you can actually go and be part of the winter harvest. You get to um, check out the, not check out, you get to work the machines, you get to be with the horses, you get to do the distillery process, you get hands-on experience to see how uh, the distillery, how it is actually done. It's a lot of work, but I hear it's a lot of fun too, and it's a great, it's a, like a lifetime experience. Um, so that is in the Idaho also. There is also a farm in, um, in Ecuador, and it is over 2,000 acres, and it is has a distillery, and that is open to the public um, once a year, I believe it is. I might be wrong, but I know that it's open to the public for their annual Amazon adventure. We also have the farm in France, which has lavender, clary sage, and einkorn wheat, which make sure you um, find out exactly what einkorn wheat is, because I cannot explain it fully, because I don't completely understand it yet but it's an amazing product that uh, Young Living is offering. We also have the Oman farm, which is where the Basuelia Sacra or the Sacred Frankincense is cultivated, which I would love to go and visit. There is also the Peru farm, which is also at the clinic, and it focuses on research and, I cannot say this right, reforestization process, um, efforts, which, we want to give back to the earth as we take from it. We want to give back to it. So the Peru um, focuses a lot on that. There's also the Taiwan farm, which I'm going to do a terrible job on this. This is where we get our Hong Kwai oil and our Yang Mao, <laughs> which, are our, which are exotic oils, which are highly regarded by the um, people in Taiwan. There is also the Israel farm, which is a partnership with a local grower there. And we also have, and I can't remember which one came first, the Northern Lights Farm in Canada, which is where we distill our black spruce, leadum, yarrow, and other oils. Gary Young wanted to do that farm because it is hard to source out the black spruce for our wonderful valor. So he decided to start his own farm for that. And then the other farm is the Kona Hawaii farm, which is where our Hawaiian sandalwood comes from. 
And so those are the 11 farms that Young Living actually owns and runs. The other farms where we get our plants and oils from are in partnership with us and they are held to the same high standard as all of the other farms are and they are subject to testing and go through the same seed to seal process that um, that our Young Living Farms do. And so for me, this is a huge thing is that Young Living has its own farms and it's in partnership with the farms and it knows what goes on with the farms from seed to seal. If you don't know what seed to seal is, make sure you look it up at seedtoseal.com. I'll put the link below. And the other reason why I love Young Living Farms is because not all companies have their own farms. I own farms where they do it from seed to seal, um, but they um, also don't test for peak harvest time, which is important because as you know, if you have a garden and if you pick a tomato too soon, you don't get the full flavor of the tomato, or if you pick it too late, you don't, it doesn't taste good. And the same thing with your you know, fruits and vegetables. Everything has a peak harvest time. And so a lot of times that's why we run out of certain products is because if the peak harvest time isn't right, or if the product doesn't meet the standards, we don't we don't use it and another reason why i love young living farms is because we don't use solvents when we distill um, a majority of companies do so make sure if you haven't joined young living or if you're trying to to use other oils make sure you know exactly how they're being distilled and then they also do not bottle other companies do not bottle their own oils so a lot of companies they get the oils from someone else and just put their own label on it but Young Living doesn't. We bottle our own oils, and that's why it's seed to seal. And I love that about our company. So that's it for Did You Know Friday. I hope you learned a little bit about something about the Young Living Farms. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe, and I have, hope you have a great weekend. We'll see you Monday for Must Have Monday, and I will see you later. Bye.